go to jail. Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and I can't let this one go. Uh, over half of the donors, many of the donors to the Clinton Foundation met with her at the State Department. Now, this is just blatant law breaking. You cannot use your official position for personal gain. You can't do it. And that's exactly what, apparently what she did. More than half the people outside the government who met with Hillary Clinton while she was on Secretary of State gave money, either personally or through companies or groups, to the Clinton Foundation. It's an extraordinary proportion indicating her poss possible ethics challenges of elected president. Screw that. She's a crook. At least 85 of 154 people from private interests have met or had phone conversations scheduled with Clinton while she led the State Department, donated to her family charity, or pledged commitments to its international programs, according to review the State Department calendars released so far by the Associated Press. Combined, the 85 donors contributed as much as 156 million, at least 40 donors, at least 40 donated more than 100,000 each, and 20 gave more than a million. Now, you people out there aren't stupid. You know they were buying favors from her, right? Uh, give us. Give me this donation to our foundation, and I'll see to it, and then it happens. That's illegal. It's kind of like the corruption you see going on in the, co the Congress. Which has been going on for years, but... The State Department is not an elected official, so it's a little different, and plus there are campaign laws and everything else, so that's regulated at least to an extent. What she did is just, I can't believe she is getting away with this. Well, she might not get away with it. It's going to hurt her credibility really badly, if, even if she doesn't uh, wind up wearing prison stripes. Donors who were granted time with Clinton include an internationally known economist who asked for help as the Bangladesh government pressured him to resign from a nonprofit bank he run, Wall Street executive who sought Clinton's help with the vigil. Visa problem, and Estee Lauder executives were listed as meeting with Clinton while she, while her department worked with firms' corporate charity to counter gender-based violence in South Africa. The meetings between Democrat presidential nominee and foundation donors do not appear to violate legal agreements. Clinton and other former President Bill Clinton signed before she joined the State Department in 2009, but the frequency of the over overlap shows an intermingling of access and donations and fuels perceptions that given foundation money, well, giving foundation money was a price of admission for face-to-face -face time with Clinton. That's illegal. She was using her per her position for her uh, private enrichment. And you can't, you can't do that. Her calendar and emails released as recently as this week described the scores of contacts and her top aides had with foundation donors. The AP's findings represent the first systematic 
effort to calculate the scope of the intersecting interests of Clinton Foundation donors and people who met personally with Clinton or spoke to her by phone about her needs, their needs. This is just buying influence. You, you just can't do this. You know, we can't, the congressmen have, like, the congress people, they have their, you know, campaign, campaign funds and stuff, and we all know dirty money's involved. But this wasn't any campaign fund, it was their private foundation. And you can't go and say, well, you have to make a donation to our fund before I'll help you. You can't do that. That is a conflict of interest and it's just flat out illegal. Anybody with any common sense knows it's illegal. So once again, another Hillary scandal. Just unbelievable the stuff she's gotten away with. Like, go Trump. I don't see as we have any other choice but vote for Trump. I hope he does what he wants. We want him to. It's a gamble, but I support him all the way because I look at this creature and oh my god. Her and her husband are the Bonnie and Clyde of American politics. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.